Okay, let's come now to our next lesson, which is all about the circle. So, this time we will be dealing with second degree equation because at the previous lesson, um, lines are just first degree equation. So, this time we'll be dealing with a second degree equation, the first of which is the circle. So, first let's have the definition of a circle. The circle is the locus of a point which moves in a plane so as always to be at a constant distance from a fixed point of the plane. When I say locus, that is the trail of a point, a moving point. So the locus is simply the, um, the path that a moving point traces as it moves in a particular um, rule. So that rule is actually the function. Okay, so yun yung locus or simply the path. So let us continue this. The fixed point is the center of the circle. So we have center of the circle and the constant distance is called the radius. Okay, so let us try to interpret this definition. So let's start with circles with center at the origin. So for circles at, with center at the origin, okay, let's draw a graph first. Okay, so suppose this is a circle with center at the origin. So he, uh, the center of the circle coincides with the origin. Then if we draw the radius, that would be this, from the center to the rim of the circle or to the circle, to the path of the circle. So let's call this point as point P. And let's name this as xy. Okay? And this is the radius r. Okay. Now, since the definition of a circle says that r is always constant, point moves in a plane so that um, so as always to be at a constant distance from a fixed point of the plane. So from the center of the plane, this is always constant, meaning at all points within the circle, it is always equidistant to the center, okay? So therefore, kung constant ang r, and we take the relationship of r to the, its coordinates x, y, we can just um, relate this to a right triangle again. So we have this distance, and we have this distance. So this distance is x, of course, and this distance is y. So if R is constant, so we have a Pythagorean relation between the three. So we have x squared plus y squared is equal to r squared. So this is just the equation of the circle with center at the origin. So of course r is constant. Ganon. So how about if the center is not at the origin? Again, simple lang din naman siya. Okay, let's move the plane, the Cartesian plane, away. Let's say dito. So, in this case, the center of the circle is not at the origin. So, let's say it is located at a point other than the origin. H and K na lang. So, this point, let's name this point H and point K. Okay. So, therefore, etong distances dito are no longer... Pareho dun sa kanina. This distance is different from those kanina. Okay. Now, uh, this distance is actually this distance which is x minus this distance which is k. Because this point is h, k, and this point is x, y. So, this is x and this is h. So, this is x minus h. And since this is k, and this is y, so therefore this is simply y minus k. Now, um, since r is still constant and it is the hypotenuse of this right triangle, so by using, again, the Pythagorean relation or Pythagorean theorem, we'll have x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equal to r squared. So this is now the equation of a circle with center at hk. So, label natin where hk is the center and of course r is constant, which is the radius. The radius. 
16-1. Find the find the equation of the following circles and reduce them to their simplest forms. So this three circles described. So let's start with letter A center at the origin with radius two. So madali nang naman if the center is at the origin, that means we'll use x squared plus y squared equals r squared. So the equation is just x squared plus y squared equal to 2 squared or x squared plus y squared equals 4. So yun lang siya kadali. Then for letter B, we have center at two neg uh, negative 2, 5 with radius 6. So we have the equation x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared for circles with center at hk. So this is our hk. h is negative 2 and k is 5. So therefore, substituting it here, we'll have x minus negative 2 squared plus y minus 5 squared equals r, which is radius 6 squared. Then expanding this, we'll have uh, x squared plus 4x plus 4 plus y squared minus 10y plus 25 equals 36. Then we'll rearrange this to x squared plus y squared plus 4x minus 10y. Then if we combine the constants, we'll have 36. Sorry we'll have 36 minus 25 minus 4. So our answer is x squared plus y squared plus 4x minus 10y equals 6 minus 25 minus 4 is 7. Ah, for general form, we'll have x squared plus y squared plus 4x minus 10y minus 7 equals 0. So this is our answer for the for circle B. Okay, let's proceed to circle C. For circle C, for circle circle C, our HK is or the center is at negative two three. Let me copy this first and one half with radius equal to three. So ganon pa rin. Our equation is x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r r squared. So x minus two thirds or uh, minus negative two thirds plus a uh, squared sorry x minus negative two-thirds squared plus y minus k which is one half squared that's equal to r which is three squared then expanding this we'll have x squared plus um times two four-thirds four-thirds uh, four x plus four-ninths then plus expand this one we'll have y squared minus one half plus one half is one i'm uh, sorry minus y plus one fourth that's equal to nine so rearranging we'll have x squared plus y squared plus four third x and minus y plus 4 ninths plus 1 fourth minus 9 equals 0. So x squared plus y squared plus 4 third x minus y. Then let us combine this. So combining that, we'll just use our calculator. Negative 299 over 36. Uh, sorry, dito siya. 299 over 36 is equal to 0. If you multiply all terms by 36, by the way, 36 is divisible by 3, so the LCD is still 36. So this is um, 36x squared plus 36y squared plus um, 36 times 4 divided by 3. So that's 48x minus 36y minus 299 equal to 0. So this is now the answer for the third circle. So that's it. Ganun lang kadali. Okay, this time we'll introduce the general form of the equation of a circle. It is simply ax squared plus by squared plus cx plus dy plus e equal to zero. Okay. 
So, ganun siya yung ano. Ganun yung form niya. Pero kung expand, uh, yung ibang mga books kasi, kinamit nila is from the general equation of a conic, which is ax squared plus bx, b, sorry, by squared plus cxy plus dx plus ey plus f equals zero. So, ganun. Then, for circles, in eliminate, we just eliminated itong xy. Ganun. So, anyway, these are, const this just represents constant. So, kahit anong ilagay natin na letter dito or symbol dyan, that's still the same. The concept is still the same. Okay. So, if we introduce just this, ito yung general equation of a circle. And if you notice, ito siya yung simplified form in the form of a general equation. If you notice, ang coefficient ng x squared and y squared are the same. So for circles, the coefficients x and a and b are equal. So a and b are equal para we could say that that is a circle. Okay? So, yun lang. So, let us try to answer some problems. Okay, let's try this, this problem. For problem 16-2. Determine the radii and centers of the following circles. So, for letter A, we have x squared plus y squared plus 4x minus 2y plus 1 equals 0. So, ito, we'll just reverse the, the solution we had in the previous problem. So, ito siya from the standard form which is, which contains the location of the center and the radius. We changed it to this general form by expanding expanding these terms. Um, so, gagawin natin, ibalik tarin natin yung process and we do that by ang kabalik tarin expansion is by factoring and that involves completing the squares. Okay, so let's start with rearranging this to x squared plus 4x plus y squared minus 2y. Then, ilagay natin yung constant sa other side of the equation. So, let us first complete the square of this. That would be x squared plus 4x plus 4. Then, we'll have the complete... Uh, I mean perfect square trinomial for this y squared minus 2y then 2 divided by 2 is 1 1 squared is 1 so plus 1 that's equal to negative 1 in this part we added 4 and we added 1 so we need to add 4 and 1 at the other side para ano tayo para balance so we could cancel out 1 so, this is the square of x plus 2, and this is the square of x minus 1. Okay? And that's equal to 4. So, kung i-rewrite natin siya as x plus 2 squared plus y minus 1 squared equals to, equal to 2 squared, that is now, we can now say that the center is at negative 2 1, because this is hk, diba? Minus h dito, tapos minus k dito. So, therefore, this would be x minus negative 2. So, h is negative 2 and k is 1. And the radius is 2. So, ganun siya kadali. So, this is now the answer. Now, if we look at this second equation, you'll notice that the coefficient of x squared and y squared or the coefficients a and b are the same so this is a circle this could be a circle so let me just copy this so we'll try to answer this by the same method completing the squares so first let's rearrange x squared minus 4x plus 4y squared plus 12y so ilagay natin sa kabilang side of the equation ang, y, ang 9 so that's negative 9 then dito, I could factor out 4. So that's 4 times x squared minus x plus, I could factor out 4 dito as well. So we'll have y squared plus 3y. 
that's equal to negative 9. Now, let us complete now. Or let's turn this into complete or perfect square trinomials. So that would be 4 times x squared minus x. So that's 1 divided by 2, 1 half. 1 half squared is 1 fourth. Plus 4 times 3, ah, sorry, sorry. That's y squared plus 3 divided by 2, 3 halves, then squared, that's 9 fourths. So plus 3y plus 9 over 4. That would be equal to negative 9. Then dito, we added 1 fourth times 4, which is 1. So plus 1. And dito naman, we added... Uh, one, uh, 4 times 9 fourths, which is 9. So, we added 9. So, therefore, makansal out lang to. Now, this becomes 4 times. This is the square of x minus 1 half plus 4 times, again, this is the square of y uh, plus 3 halves. That's equal to 1. Then, divide all terms by 4 para mawala yung 4 dito. That would be x minus 1 half, x minus 1 half squared plus y plus 3 halves squared equals 1 fourth. Or x minus 1 half squared plus y plus 3 halves squared equals 1 half squared. So therefore, the center is at, or sina lang, oh, center. The center is at 1 half negative 3 halves and the radius is at 1 half or I mean the, the length of the radius is just 1 half units so that's a very small circle ganun siya kadali ok let's try this this problem for problem 16-2 determine the radii and centers of the following circles. So for letter A, we have x squared plus y squared plus 4x minus 2y plus 1 equals 0. So ito, we'll just reverse the, the solution we had in the previous problem. Okay? So ito siya from the standard form, which, is, which contains the location of the center and the radius, we changed it to this general form by expanding expanding these terms. Um, so, gagawin natin, ibalik na rin natin yung process. And we do that by, ang kabalik na ng expansion is by completing the squares. Okay? Expa uh, I mean, ang um, kabalik na expansion is by factoring and that involves completing the squares. Okay? So, let's start with... Rearranging this to x squared plus 4x plus y squared minus 2y. Then, ilagay natin yung constant sa other side of the equation. So, let us first complete the square of this. That would be x squared plus 4x plus 4. Then, we'll have the complete, uh, I mean, perfect square trinomial for this. y squared minus 2y. Then, 2 divided by 2 is 1, 1 squared is 1, so plus 1. That's equal to negative 1. In this part, we added 4 and we added 1. So we need to add 4 and 1 at the other side para, ano tayo, para balance. So we could cancel out 1. So this is the square of x plus 2 and this is the square of x minus 1. Okay, and that's equal to 4. So, kung i-rewrite natin siya as x plus 2 squared plus y minus 1 squared equals to, equal to 2 squared, that is now, we can now say that the center is at negative 2, 1, because this is hk, di ba? Minus h dito, tapos minus k dito. So, therefore, this would be x minus negative 2. So, h is negative 2 and k is 1. And the radius is 2. So, ganun siya kadali. So, this is now the answer. Now, if we look at this second equation, 
you'll notice that the coefficient of x squared and y squared or the coefficients a and b are the same so this is a circle this could be a circle so let me just copy this okay so we'll try to answer this by the same method completing the squares so first let's rearrange x squared plus sorry minus 4x plus 4y squared where are we? 4y squared plus 12y. So, ilagay natin sa kabilang side of the equation ng, y, ang 9. So, that's negative 9. Then, dito, I could factor out 4. So, that's 4 times x squared minus x plus, I could factor out 4 dito as well. So, we'll have y squared plus 3y. That's equal to negative 9. Now, let us complete now. Or let's turn this into complete or perfect square trinomials. So that would be 4 times x squared minus x. So that's 1 divided by 2, 1 half. 1 half squared is 1 fourth. Plus 4 times 3, ah, sorry, sorry. That's y squared plus 3 divided by 2, 3 halves, then squared, that's 9 fourths. So plus 3y plus 9 over 4. That would be equal to negative 9. Then dito, we added 1 fourth times 4, which is 1. So plus 1. And dito naman, we added uh, one, uh, 4 times 9 fourths, which is 9. So we added 9. So therefore, makansal out lang to. Okay. Now, this becomes 4 times. Okay, that's 4 times, this is the square of x minus 1 half plus 4 times, again, this is the square of y uh, plus 3 halves. That's equal to 1. Then, divide all terms by 4 para mawala yung 4 dito. That would be x minus 1 half x minus 1 half squared plus y plus 3 halves squared equals 1 fourth. Or x minus 1 half squared plus y plus 3 halves squared equals 1 half squared. So therefore, the center is at 1 half negative 3 halves and the radius is at 1 half. Or, I mean, the, the length of the radius is just one half units. So, that's a very small circle. Ganun siya kadali. Problem. We have problem 16-3. Find the equations of the tangents to the following circles. Okay. So, I'll just discuss the concept about tangents um, as we solve this problem. Actually, uh, there's an option or we, we could derive the equation or derive the yeah, the equation of solving the tangent for these circles, but we'll not do that because there's actually a very easy way of solving this using differential calculus. But since so la patayang calculus, so dit muna tayo gagamit ng mga derivatives. So gagamitin lang muna natin is simply analysis lang using what we have learned. So for letter A, we have x squared plus y squared equals to 25 at 3, 4. So, ano ibig sabihin nito? So for letter A, we have x squared plus y squared equals 25. Then, hanapin natin yung line tangent to 3, 4. Okay, ano ba yung tangent? Tangent is a line that passes to a curve at one and only one point. Okay, let me draw this first. So obviously, this is a circle with radius equal to 5 and center at the origin. Okay, so let's say this is the circle. The center is at the origin and the radius is 5. Now, we are asked to find the tangent at 3, 4. So yung 3, 4 is around... Ay, delete na lang natin to muna. 3, 4 is around dito. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4. Let's say dito. This point is 3, 
4 and we need to get the tangent to this point. Tangent meaning it crosses at one and only one point. So kung ito siya, this is not a tangent line, that's a second line because dalawang beses siya nag-cross sa curve or sa circle. So that's the second of a circle. Second. Familiar naman kayo sa second. So for tangent lines, isang beses lang siya magka-cross. So ito yung tangent line dyan. So what is now the equation of this circle, of this line? I would approach this problem by this. Um, we don't know the slope of that line, pero sa differential calculus, we could solve that. Ito. We don't know the slope of this, but sa differential calculus, mat sobrang dali lang yan. So we don't know the slope, but we know that it will pass through 3, 4. So this line will pass through 3, 4. So using the slope point form of a line, we'll have y minus y1. That's equal to m times x minus x1. We'll have y minus 4 equals m times x minus 3. Then simplify natin y minus 4 equals to mx minus 3m. And let's solve for y. We can solve for y. So y is equal to, oh okay na yung kanina, no? m times x minus 3 times or plus 4. Uh, try natin to. So try natin na uh, let's, Kasi ito pala dito, we need to substitute this here. So, mas okay siya kung naka-function form na lang as y. So, substitute natin dyan, we'll have x squared plus, then ito yung y squared natin. y squared is m times x minus 3 plus 4 squared. Then, that's equal to 25. So, very complicated ang ating problem. Anyway, kaya natin to. So, x squared plus, ito siya. Expand lang natin siya. That would become m squared x minus 3 squared plus 8m x minus 3. Tama ba? So, 2ab. Okay. Then, plus 16. That's equal to 25. Okay. So, let me just erase a grouping symbol kahit parang di na kailangan. Ayan. Then, I'll combine Ah, eto. Kailangan pa natin expand to. Then, distribute this. So, we'll have x squared plus m squared times x squared minus 6x plus 9 plus 8mx minus uh, 24m plus 16 Ah, 16 minus 25, that's negative 9, cos 0. Ito pa, x squared plus m squared x squared minus 6m squared x plus 9m squared plus 8mx minus 24m minus 9 equals 0. Then, yung gagawin ko, I'll just combine lahat ng may mga x squared, which is itong dalawa. I'll have x squared or... And na lang. 1 plus m squared times x squared. I factored out x squared from this. Then, how about yung may mga x, which is this and this. Ito lang. So, factor out ko ulit yung x. That would be 8m minus 6m squared multiplied by x. Then, we have constants yung mga constant, this one, this one. So, plus 9m squared minus 24m minus 9 equals 0. So, we have a quadratic formula, a quadratic equation in x. So, x squared, oh, sorry, a x squared plus bx plus, so this is entirely c. Okay, then we can use a quadratic equation for this. Uh, m is unknown, pero ganito. Remember that Tangent yung hinahanap natin. So, when we say tangent, it crosses at one and only one point. So, ito yung sinabi ko kanina. If na, lumabas na quadratic siya, there's a chance na dalawa yung ano niya. Dalawa ang values ng x. But since this is just a tangent, so dapat isa lang yung value ng x. So, para ma-restrict sa isa yung value ng x, dapat sa quadratic equation, if you recall the quadratic equation, x is equal to negative b plus minus square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. 
if my value to or positive to dito will have two values of x ito kasi nag uh, plus and minus tayo but if the discriminant x, uh, b squared minus 4ac is 0 ma-cancel out lang siya so isa lang yung value ng x which is negative b over 2a na lang so that's what we need to do dapat para tangent for tangent we let the discriminant b squared minus 4ac be equal to 0. Now, let us identify a, that's 1 plus m squared. Let's identify b as 8m minus 6m squared. And let's identify c as 9m squared minus 24m minus 9. So, the discriminant is b, uh, b squared. So, we'll have 8m minus 6m squared minus 4 times a which is 1 plus m squared times c which is 9m squared minus 24m minus 9 then we equate this to 0 para isa lang yung value ng x diba? isa lang yung point of intersection nya ito lang na 3 and 4 ok so anong mayayari dito um, of course yung gagawin natin dito ay hala kulang tayo ng squared pa dito that's 6m squared squared. Okay. Ang gagawin natin dito, we need to expand this more than solve for m. Pero, let me just solve this using calculator kasi tinatamad na ako. Okay. Using this calculator, input na lang natin yung 8m minus 6m squared squared minus 4 1 plus m squared times 9m squared minus 24m minus 9. Then equate that to 0. Then shift, oh sorry, shift calc. So it's negative. Yan. So therefore, m is negative 3 fourths. So meron tayong value ng m. So if m is negative 3 fourths and we have kanina y minus, what was it? y minus 4 cos m y minus 4 equals m times x minus 3. So, we'll have one, y minus 4 equals m, which is negative 3 fourths times x minus 3. So, we'll have 4y minus 16 equals a negative 3x plus 9. So, the equation of the tangent is 3x plus 4y. 3x plus 4y, so general, minus 25 equal to 0. So this is our answer. So let us check if tama yung answer natin. Um, let's use a graphing tool. Tingnan natin kung tangent talaga siya. We have x squared plus y squared plus y squared equals 25. So this circle Tapos yung point of tangency is at 3, 4, that point. Then our answer was 3x plus 4y equals 75. Oh, that's it. So, correct yung answer natin. What we, had, what we have is a tangent line. Tangent to the circle x squared plus y squared equals 25. So, because of what? We know so far, may mas mahaba pa yung solution natin. Pero sa if we just use um if we just use calculus, madali lang solution ito. We just use derivative. Ganito lang yan. If you get a derivative of this, that would be 2x plus 2y y prime equals zero. Then substitute yung values nito. We'll have six plus two. Okay, 2 times 4, 8. Y prime. Y prime is actually M. That's equal to 0. So you'll have M is equal to negative 6 over 8. So M is negative 3 fourths. Yun na. Ito na yung answer natin kanina. So M is equal to negative 3 fourths. So ganun lang kadali pag differential calculus ang gamitin. But this time, di pa naman. So ang gagawin nyo, again, assignment nyo for this video is you'll solve this pero much complicated to hindi naman you solve this then comment dun sa group facebook group natin you comment done then you give the answer for this 
Madali lang naman yan. So, I just do the same method here. The same method here. Pero medyo complicated lang siya because uh, the center is not at the origin. Anyway, yung square mo lang naman is y. So, is, wala nang y na isa. Okay? So, it's a matter of algebra na lang. So, dito, ganun din yung gagawin ninyo. Pero, you just get first the standard equation of this before going to getting the, ano, the tangent at 10, 15. Okay? So, that's it. Let's continue. Let's try to answer number, uh, this problem 16-4. Find the equation of the circle through 3, 5, 3, negative 1, and 4, 0. So, in this particular problem, we are given three points at which our circle passes. One of the simplest approach in solving this problem is by using its general form or the general form of the circle, which is ax squared plus by squared plus cx plus dy plus f oh, plus e, a, b, c, d, e, equal to zero. And remember that for circles, a is equal to b. And if we just uh, express this, uh, the coefficients of x squared and y squared equal to 1, so pwede din natin isulat siya as x squared plus y squared. Then ang susolve na lang natin or ang ano na lang is ang cx plus dy or ang c, ang d, and ang e. Okay? Parang ito ba? Parang ito. Or dito. Um, the, the circle, pwede siyang may coefficient, yung x squared and y squared, that are the same. Or pwede din, y, ano na lang ang coefficient niya? 1 for both x and y. Okay? So, pwede ganun para tatlo na lang unknown natin. So, if we have three unknowns, we need three equations. So, in, for three equations, we need three conditions. So, let's start with the first condition. Condition 1. Okay, for the first condition, we know that the circle passes through all these three points. So, we could let the circle pass through the first point, 3, 5. So, the circle passes through or at 3, 5. So, we know that at this point, x is 3 and y is 5. Okay. So, ganun. So, therefore, we'll have 3 squared plus 5 squared plus c times 3 plus d times 5 plus e equal to 0. So, that would be 9 plus 25 plus 3c plus 5d plus e equal to 0. Then, we'll have 30, uh, 3c plus 5d plus e equal to 9 plus 25 transposed to the other side. That's negative 34. Okay. So, this is our equation 1. So, we already have our first equation. Then, for the second condition... It passes through the second point, which is 3, negative 1. So, therefore, the equation becomes, again, we are looking at this or substituting x and y here. So, we'll have 3 squared plus negative 1 squared plus uh, 3, uh, sorry, c times 3 plus d times negative 1 plus e equal to 0. So, we, let me move this. <clears throat> so, we'll have 9 plus 1 plus 3C plus or minus D plus E equal to 0 or 3C minus D plus E equal to negative 10. So, this is our equation 2. And for our third condition, condition 3, it passes through course uh, 4, 0. So, it passes through 4, 0. So, at 4, 0, x is, x is 4 and y is 0. So, we'll have 4 squared plus 0 squared plus c times 4 plus d times 0 plus e equals 0. Okay. Then, we'll have 4, uh, no, 16 plus 4c, 
then 0 plus e equals 0. So we have 4c plus e equals 0. So, oh no, equals negative 16. That is our third equation. So we have now three equations for three unknowns. So with this, pwede tayong gumamit ng uh, matrices to solve this simultaneously. Pwede din by substitution. Pwede din by elimination. So you just choose whatever is most convenient to you. Anyway, di naman algebra na yung ano natin dito, yung concern natin dito. So, to make this solution shorter, I'll just use, I'll just use a calculator. So, using our calculator, so let's just use the equation mode of your calculator. Pwedeng matrix, ayan. You can use matrix, then get the determinant, then by Kramer's rule, pwedeng ganun. Or, actually, pwede din siya diretso na lang sa matrix. Pwede din dito, for three unknowns, you have C, D, and E unknowns. For three unknowns, eto, this one. For three unknowns, itong gamitin natin. So, yung X natin dyan, that would be the uh, C. Okay? Na confusing, no? Eto. Wait, let me move this a little bit. Yung coefficient natin na A, that would be the first column. That would be the coefficients here. Ito, coefficient ng C. Then the second column would be the coefficient of D. Ito wala. Then the third column will be the coefficient of E. So 1, 1, 1. Then the fourth column would be this constant, negative 34, negative 10, and negative 16. Our value. So for the first equation, we have, ito yung mga coefficients niya. These are 3. Then 5, 1, and constant negative 34. Then the second coefficient, naman, uh, the second equation is 3, negative 1, 1, and negative 10. Then the third equation is eto, 4, then oh, wala tayong D, so that's just 0. Then E is 1 again, then um, negative 16. Eto. Okay, then yung mga answers dito, that would be our C, D, and E. So, C is negative 2, D is negative 4, and E is negative 8. So, these are the values of our coefficient. So, again, if you recall, ito yung general equation natin, x squared plus y squared plus uh, BC x plus dy plus e equals 0. So therefore, our equation now is x squared plus y squared <coughs> plus negative 2x plus negative 4y plus negative 8 equal to 0. So this is now the equation of the circle. So to check this, let us try to use, or let us use Desmos. So these are the points at which Dapat daanan siya ng circle. Ayan. Yung mga points na yan. So, our answer is, eto, negative 2x, negative 4, negative 8. Okay. So, yung answer natin sa problem was, x squared plus y squared minus 2x minus 4y, 4, sorry, 4y minus 8 equal to 0. Ayan. So, if you notice, Tama yung answer natin because all um, all points were passed by the by the circle given by this equation na answer natin. Okay? So, it's that easy. Let's have another problem. So, problem 16-5. So, find the equation of the circle circumscribed about the triangle formed by the coordinate axis of the line x plus 2y equals 2. Okay. Sa so, una natin gawin, i-plot muna natin. Ah, gamit tayo ng Desmos. So, using Desmos. So, the equation is x plus 2y equals 2. So, eto. Okay, this is now our figure. By the way, kung if you're not using a graphing utility, madali lang naman i-graph ang x plus 2y equals 2. Um, you just change this to slope-intercept form. That would be 2y equals negative x plus 2 or y is equal to negative 1 half x 
plus 1. So the y-intercept is 1, so that is this point. Then the slope is negative 1 half, so negative rise over the long run, 1, 2. So ito siya, then you connect. So that is the line. Okay. Now, sabi sa problem, uh, we need to get the equation of the circle that passes through the vertices of the triangle formed by the coordinate axis and this line. So, that would be this and this. So, ito yung triangle na na-form. So, dapat um, the circle is uh, cir circumscribing this triangle. So, meaning da, um, yung equation ng circle dapat dito siya. Or yung circle natin is dapat ito. So, itong vertices, naandyan sa siya circle. Okay? And I think this is just easier. Now, pro isang, property sa, isang property sa geometry is that if this is 90 degrees, yung arc niya na, na tawag nito, yung arc na included sa kanya is 180 degrees. So, that means it should be the diameter. Okay? Pero, sige na lang. Uh, let's not dwell on that. Isolve na lang natin siya like we solved before. The previous equation. Ito. Uh, the previous problem. Itong uh, triangle, ang kanyang na-form. So, let me highlight that. So, this is the inscribed triangle. The vertices are ito. This is the y-intercept, right? So, that is 0, 1. This vertex would be, this is the x-intercept. So, that would be 2, 0. Pwede din ninyo i-compute. You just let x be 0, then you'll get 1. Then you just let y be 0, then you'll get 2. Okay? Then, of course, the other point is the origin. Ito. 0, 0. Then, we'll just proceed with what we've solved in the previous um, example. If we have x squared plus y squared plus. How about if I use small letter na lang na a x plus b y or how about para, para may iba lang I'll use alpha x plus beta y plus gamma equals 0 so yung hanapin ko are the values of alpha, beta and gamma so I just substitute the the ano the coordinates so syempre at 0, 0 or the origin x is 0 and y is 0 so that would become 0, ah, 0, 0, 0, 0, so gamma equal to 0. So, automatic na tayo, gamma is equal to 0. Sabi ko na, this is so too easy. Okay? This is just one way of solving this, if we follow the previous uh, previous way. So, how about if we try this one, this point? So, that would be at 2, 0. So, at 2, 0, y is 0. So, that would be 2 squared plus 0 squared plus alpha times 2. Uy, sumabra tayo. Alpha times 2 plus 0 plus gamma. And we know that gamma is 0. So just delete this. Equal to 0. So 4 plus 2 alpha is equal to 0. So 2 alpha is equal to negative 4. So alpha is negative 2. At the next vertex, that's 0, 1. So at 0, 1, at 0, 1, x is 0, y is 1. So therefore, we have 0. So again, we're referring to this. That would be 0 plus 1 squared plus 0 plus beta times 1 plus gamma, which is 0, equals 0. So beta plus 1 equal to 0. So beta is negative 1. So therefore, our equation is just x squared plus y squared minus 2x minus y equals 0. So, this would be our equation. So, let's try to plot that using our graphing utility. So, okay. We have this line x plus 2y equals 2. That one. Then, label lang natin yung mga intercept. That would be uh, first the origin then, label natin yung, that is 0, 1, one intercept, and 2, 0, the x-intercept. Okay, let's label that. Then, our answer was x squared plus 
y squared minus 2x minus y equals 0. So that would be the circle. That would be our answer. Let's answer this next problem. Find the equation of the common chord of the circles. So common chord, so meaning we'll need to get the equation of the line that passes through the common chord of these two given circles. I-plot muna natin yung dalawang circle, but this time, let's not use a uh, graphing tool para mas, ano, para ma-practice. So, I'll just change the template. What we'll do first, um, i-locate natin yung, uh, yung center and yung radius ng each circle para ma-plot. So, let me start with x squared plus y squared minus 2x minus 2y equals to 0. So, that would be x squared minus 2x plus y squared minus 2y equals 0. So, by completing the squares, that's x squared plus, sorry, minus 2x minus 2x plus 1 plus y squared minus 2y is 1. That would be 0, then nag-add tayo ng 1 and another 1 sa kabila. So, this would be x minus 1 squared and this would be y minus 1 squared equal to 2. So, therefore, ang radio, I mean, the center is at 1, 1. Ito. And the radius is, the radius is square root of 2. Okay. Although, mahirap i-plot yung square root of 2. Yung r equal to square root of 2. How about kung intercepts na lang ang gawin natin kasi okay lang naman yung equation. So, para may guide tayo, using intercepts, for example, when x is 0, that means 0 to siya. So, ang maiwan na lang is ang y squared minus 2y. So, that means y is equal, uh, y times y minus 2 is equal to 0. So, when x is 0, y is at 0 and at 2. Ito. Ayan. So, when x is 0, y is at 0 and 2. Ito. So, the circle, the first circle passes through here. So, kung ito drawing natin siya, I mean, if I trace that, more or less, that would be the circle. Then the second circle, let's plot that. The second circle is, second circle is x squared plus y squared minus 4x plus 3. Then equal to 0. Then completing the squares again, so that's x squared minus 4x plus y squared equals to negative 3. So x, x squared minus 4x plus 4 plus y squared equal to, perfect square naman yung y squared, so negative 3 plus 4. So that would be x minus 2 squared plus y squared, that would be equal to 1. So ang radius is 1, then the center is at 2, 0. 2, 0. So 2, 0 is this, this one. So this point is 2, 0 and the radius is 1. So from here, that's 1, 1, 1, 1. So, in drawing natin, this would be the circle. Ayan. So, these are now our two circles. And what we need to find is the equation of the line passing to the common chord. So, this is the common chord. So, what would be the equation of this line? So, madali na lang siya. All we need to do is to get the point of intersection of these two circles their common points, then we'll uh, determine the line that passes through these two points. Ganun lang siya kadali. And to get the point of intersection, of course, you need to remember that the point of intersection are the points we're in. Um, yung point x, y is common to both equations, to these two equations. So we just need to solve this equation simultaneously. And if you notice, Kung i-add natin yung equation, no, i-subtract. If we subtract this equation, maka-cancel out to. So, eto na lang yung kailangan natin, di ba? Pwede, we can approach it this way. From the first equation, we have x squared plus y squared is equal to 2x plus 2y. Basically, I just um, transpose. Then, the second equation, x squared plus y squared is equal to 4x minus 3. And since x squared plus y squared is equal to x squared plus y squared, 
for the common point. So, ito, i-combine na lang natin. We'll have 2x plus 2y is equal to 4x minus 3. Then, simplifying, we'll have, ito na lang kasi mas malaki yung dito. I'll just transpose this, transpose this. So, I'll have 4 minus 2, so 2x minus 2y minus 3 equal to 0. So, ayan na, yun na ang answer. Actually, that is the equation of the line. Let us check. Kung na tayo mag-graphing utility. So, that would be 2y. Let me use this one. That would be negative 2y or how about 2y equal to 2x minus 3. So, y is equal to x minus 3 halves. So, 3 halves is 1.5. So, andito siya. The y-intercept is 1.5. Ito. O negative pala ito. So, dito. So, this is the, ayan, negative yung y-intercept. So, that's negative 1.5. Ayan. Then, the slope is 1. So, the slope is 1. So, from here, let's just move 1 unit, then 1 unit. So, if, if, you, know, if you notice, if you extend that, that precisely passes through the common chord. Ayan. So, we'll do exactly that. This is the common chord. Or, ulitin natin. The common chord is this. I mean, the, the line that passes through the common chord is that. So, and that is the equation of that line. Ganun lang siya kadali. Okay, I will just post some other problems if I find some dun sa study area natin sa Facebook group. Okay? So, that would be our lesson. And see you in the next one.